So this week, I want to talk to you about my tortured metaphor. You ready? My tortured metaphor is that the web is a city. And I use this metaphor to describe how important it is to participate in social media, to participate in blogs, forums, chat rooms, and to be a part of the communities that are talking about what you're doing, about your company, about your products, about your services. Um, and, and the tortured metaphor goes like this. The web is a city. And if you think about the web as a city, you can think about everything that's on the web and assign it to something that's in a real live city. So, for example, eBay it is the garage sale, the boot sale, the city. You've got um, Amazon.com is the bookstore. Um, all of the company websites are the high street, the main street of the city where people uh, go to do their shopping. Uh, you've got the underworld of the city with porn and spam and stuff like that. Um, so you can assign every kind of thing that you see on the web as a virtual city. Um, so what are the blogs and the forums and the chat rooms of the virtual world of the web? They're the bars and the saloons and the clubs of the city. And so if you think about it that way, and you think about the ways that people market offline and the ways that people find out about ideas offline, you can, you can sort of get a sense that there's a lot of information that's shared in the pubs and the saloons and the bars and the clubs of the city, of the real city. And the same thing's true of the online world of forums and chat rooms and blogs. So in order to be successful with social networking sites, you have to be a participant. So imagine that you're a landscaper and you run a landscape business in, in a city. And if you frequent the bars and the clubs, everyone knows you. Oh, yeah, that's old John. That's the landscaper. And guess what's going to happen the next time they need landscape services if they already know John? They're going to call him, right? They're not going to try to go to the phone book or the Google to try to find a landscaper. They already know one. And the same thing's true on the web. If you're a participant in blogs and forums and chat rooms where people are discussing the sorts of things that you do and, and they get to know you, when they're ready to buy a product, who do you think they're going to call? They're going to call you, of course. Tortured metaphor, I know, but I think it's valuable in terms of understanding social media.